We were able to uh, molecularly profile uh, about 823 cases of small bowel adenocarcinoma. And the intention to do this was just to try to highlight any um, molecular differences between small bowel cancer and um, colorectal cancer. These are um, two malignancies that are small bowel cancers often treated very similarly to colorectal cancer in large part due to the paucity of cases. Um, and this was our largest kind of cohort of small bowel tumors um, and and we were hoping to gain some molecular insights that could be used to develop targeted agents um, to uh, attack these rather rare um, tumors that are associated with such poor prognosis we know that um, colon cancer, or that small bowel cancer patients do, uh, they're often diagnosed at a later stage and they do worse than colon cancer patients. Um, and so what we were able to do is highlight some of the differences. Um, some In looking at sort of the mutational landscape, we found similar BRAF mutations, um, HER2 alterations, um, and we looked to see how these were different between small bowel cancer and colon cancer. And what we found was that the BRAF mutations in small bowel cancer were in large part non-class 1 V600E mutations, um, unlike colorectal cancer patients. And in looking at the HER2 alterations, we found that the majority of HER2 alterations in small bowel cancer were um, point mutations rather than copy number amplifications or overexpression, um, kind of restricting what's available to treat these tumors. Additionally, we were able to find new um, certain unique fusions, particularly the RSPO3 fusion, um, which may be targetable by porcupine inhibitors. Um, and these were some of our findings. You know, in addition to the molecular differences between the two tumor types, we were all also able to do transcriptomic analysis. Um, and this sort of helped us identify more active immune cells in the tumor microenvironment of small bowel tumors as, compo as compared to colorectal cancers. And this possibly may suggest a role for immune modulation with immune checkpoint therapies in the future. Um, and uh, our, our hope is that, um, you know, there's recently been a NCCN guideline separating small bowel adenocarcinomas from colon cancers, and we're hoping that with the additional molecular insights, we're able to further develop more targeted agents and treat small bowel cancer as a unique tumor and not like its neighboring colon cancer.